Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install E2 Advanced Template on Windows and on Linux. We're going to install it with Composer and set up virtual hosts for Windows and for Linux also and make front-end and back-end running using virtual hosts. Okay, let's search for E2 Advanced Install and the very first page will be official documentation of installation. Let's scroll down to install using Composer. Here basically the documentation says that we need to run Composer Global Require for Composer Asset Plugin. And according to my experience, this version is uh, deprecated, older, and it has some problems. It had at least some problems in my case. So I recommend not to run with this version and run with the latest version. So I'm going to copy this line, open your favorite term terminal and run it. Just change this 1.1 into 1.4. Okay, the latest version is 1.4.6. Okay, let's run this, wait a couple of seconds and this will install this plugin uh, globally. In my case, this was already installed, so nothing happened, but in your case, it would install, it will install the latest version. After this, let's run the second command, composer create project from advanced template. I'm gonna change the folder name into E2 advanced and run this. This will first download the E2 advanced template and then run Composer install in the project. Okay, while this will do the thing, uh, I'm gonna open uh, virtual hosts and let's let's create them. Go to the XAMPP Apache Conf Extra vhosts and open it with your favorite editor. And uh, we are gonna put here the virtual host for our E2 advanced template. So the template of the virtual host is on the following link. You can scroll down and you can see this template. Okay, I'm going to take this template for both front end and back end and paste it at the bottom of this file. And we need to adjust the server name and document root as well as the directory tag. Okay, so in my case, the project is installed under C drive exampp htdocs slash e2 advanced slash frontend web so here in this location is uh, entry script is located okay i'm going to copy this and put it under directory and i'm going to change my server name into e2 frontend dot test the dev domain um, is actually real domain and chrome Google Chrome redirects to HTTPS and I had problems. So I always used dot .test uh, on my local installation, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna copy this path and put it for backend also. Just change frontend into backend. And change the domain into e2 backend.test. Let's save this and we need to add these domains under uh, etc host file also. So let's go to the Windows, System32, Drivers, etc and Hosts. Let's write here local IP and e2 frontend.test and the same for my bed. The same for backend. And we need to restart Apache because the virtual host just won't work if you don't reload or restart your Apache. Okay, we did it. And now we need to do a couple of things. The project is installed, a composer install was also run and all dependencies were installed and we need to run a couple of commands. So let's go to the project folder, E2 advanced and let's run PHP init. Uh, 
we are going to initialize our project, our repository with development or production environment. So I'm going to choose development and agree on this. So it generated a couple of files in common, backend and frontend directory. So it generated config files, it generated entry script index.php in both folders frontend and backend, and it also changed the permissions of runtime and assets folder in both directory, backend and frontend. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to create database and configure our uh, application component, DB component, to access correct database. Uh, okay, I'm going to create database using phpMyAdmin. E2 advanced and I'm going to choose UTF-8 MB4 Unicode CI. And let's go to the project common config main local PHP and adjust the adjust DSN or username and password as, as you need. In my case, uh, everything is correctly, so I uh, named my database as it is written right here. My password is empty, so this should work. And let's open terminal again after configuring your database and let's run php emigrate. This will read migration files located under, under console migrations. Let me show this to you. Console migrations. Here we have two migration files. Uh, this will this command will read the files and run and create users user table in just created database. Agree on this and that's it. So let's refresh phpMyAdmin, go to the E2 advanced and we see the two tables, migration and user. And if we access now the domains, We see at the front end. Congratulations, we have installed. Let's see back end. Uh -huh. The back end is not correctly configured. It didn't work, and that's because uh, our virtual hosts are not configured correctly. Let's go to the XAMPP Apache Conf Extra eHosts. Scroll down. And I made a mistake, probably. E2, yes, E2 backend test. Let's restart Apache. Refresh the page. And yes, it is. So backend and frontend both are up and running. We can navigate between pages and see uh, that it works. Now let's do the same thing and install E2 Advanced Template on uh, Ubuntu and make virtual hosts running. So I'm going to open installation guide, scroll down and we see install using Composer. So let's copy this line. Uh, okay, let's first install Composer Asset Plugin. I'm going to install 1.4 something version. Latest version of Composer Asset Plugin was already installed and I'm going to copy this Composer Create project right now. Uh, navigate to the var www HTML folder and create my project right here. Composer Create Project something e2 advanced. Now let's create virtual hosts. So I'm going to uh, do the following. I'm going to create a new virtual host file under, uh, I need to do this with sudo get it etc apache2 sites available and I'm going to create new conf file right here and I'm going to call it e2 advanced.test.conf file. Okay, so let's open this and here I'm going to paste the template basically which is on this installation page. So let's copy this and paste right here. And I'm going to adjust document root. 
So my project is located under var www.html e2 advanced. Copy and put it right here. Uh, let's call the server name e2 frontend.test and let's copy this and do the same for backend. Okay, now we created a virtual host file, but we need to enable it and reload Apache, okay? Let's enable the virtual host. For this, we need to run sudo a2 in site command, which is Apache2 enable site, and let's indicate e2 advanced test conf. So we want to enable this uh, site, and then we need to restart or reload Apache. sudo service Apache2 reload. Apache was reload, and let's add the hosts etc hosts file. Okay, let's edit this and add e2 frontend.test and backend. Okay, we created virtual host, reloaded Apache, and now we need to run init and migrate commands. We need to create also a database. So let's first run php init. Yes. Okay, init was successfully run. Uh, it created and generated some uh, new files like frontend web index, frontend uh, config, backend config, and it also changed the permissions of the backend runtime and frontend runtime and assets folders. And now I'm going to create database. I don't have PHP my admin installed on Ubuntu, and I'm going to create the database using PHP Storm with this database tool. If you have phpMyAdmin, you can create database using it. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to connect to my MySQL database. OK, and create database. OK, and edit common config main local php e2 advent is already written there so i'm going to open terminal again and run php e migrate yes my password is not set uh, my password is this yes let's open browser and type there e2 frontend.test it's there up and running e2 backend.test and it's also running and that's the end of the video thanks for watching hit the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next time